the late royal figure will be the star of a documentary on Channel 5 next Saturday, the 9th of October, and excerpts of the film have already been shared. In the controversial Princess, a royal expert notably says both Princess Margaret and her niece Princess Anne were quite cold towards the Princess Michael of Kent. Speaking of Prince Michael's marriage to Baroness Marie Christine von Riebnitz in the late 1970s, Viscountess Hinchingbrick said, You can imagine this did not go down well with Princess Margaret, who was told by her own sister, Queen Elizabeth, that she couldn't marry a divorcee. In fact, she was said to be furious. Princess Margaret, before making a U-turn, wished to marry a divorced man, Peter Townsend, with whom she was romantically involved. Mr. Townsend was a British Royal Air Force officer who had been married from 1941 to 1952. At the time, it was impossible to remarry in the Church of England if the former spouse was still alive. Princess Margaret's demand to be able to be married sparked controversy in the royal family and the UK government as well. Sir Anthony Eden's government threatened to strip the princess of royal privileges if she insisted on the union. One can imagine why Margaret was angry at her cousin Prince Michael for being able to do exactly what she could not. The prince was allowed to marry divorcee Marie Christine during a Roman Catholic ceremony in 1983 at Archbishop House with Pope John Paul II's blessing. The couple also had a civil ceremony in Vienna in 1978, only a month after Marie Christine's divorce was officially declared. However, as the Act of Settlement 1701, prevented members of the royal family from marrying Roman Catholics, Prince Michael had to renounce his succession right. He retrieved his rights of succession some 35 years later thanks to the succession to the Crown Act 2013. Although Margaret was furious and Princess Anne nicknamed Marie Christine Princess Pushy, the Queen's sister did not fight more to marry her divorce partner as shown in the documentary. Royal author Penny Juna notably said, I think this throws a whole new light on the affair. We've always believed that she didn't marry Townsend because she was prevented by the government, by the Church of England and by her sister. But this very much suggests that she didn't love him enough. According to historian Kate Williams, the documents show how hard the Queen tries for Margaret. It gives us a different view of the Queen as someone who did try to put her sister's happiness as a top priority.